So this special green cabinet is where we house type material. An individual of that species. So let's say I discover a new species of beetle and I have 10 of them and I've done all the work that shows it's a new species. Then what I need to do is I need to describe that new species and give it a name. When I do that, I pick one specimen from those 10, in this case that I had, and I put a special, I give that a special significance. We call that the holotype, the one type. And that is a representative of that species. So all of our type specimens are in this cabinet. And our type material goes back to the founding of the university. Some of the per first people were at, at Washington State College at the time, described new species. We have the type material that they use. The point of keeping these separate is should something happen the building catches on fire or whatever it is, then these, this cabinet and these drawers would become my first concern to get these out of the building and to get these to some type of safety. The rest of the collection theoretically could burn down and become destroyed, could be replaced, but these could never be replaced. Our collection is, is important not only because of the specimens that we house, but historically. If WSU were starting today, we would probably not be able to keep type material. What they would probably do would be to tell us to send all our type material to one of the California collections or to the Smithsonian or to someplace else. But historically, we've maintained a type collection, and so, in, so we continue to do that.